Welcome to the C-Suite at the Open video series with TMX Group. My name is Sophie Vanut, Head of TSX Company Services, based out of Montreal. Today, joining me, I have Ian Ball, CEO and President of ABTB Royalties. Welcome, Ian. Thank you. Thank you for having us this morning. You're very welcome. So, tell us about the industry in which you operate at ABTB Royalties. Well, Abitibi is in the gold royalties uh, business and think of it like music. Music has royalties and so do gold mines. And so we get a percentage of revenue for every ounce of gold that's produced. And then it's up to us to reinvest those dollars in order to compound our shareholders' money. Very interesting. So how would you sum up your investment proposition? I'm an investor. I'm right. thinking that you're a gold mine, but you're not. So you're royalties. So how, how would you sum up your investment proposition? Well, I, I think it's really important to first, no matter what industry you operate in, to respect your shareholders. And so when you look at Abitibi, we're quite unique that we have the smallest share account of any mining company in the world at 12 and a half million shares. We don't issue stock options. We don't have warrants or restricted share units. And for the past six years, I've used all my compensation to reinvest back into the market. So I'm standing in the same shoes as my fellow shareholders. But when I look at Abitibi's fundamentals, although we're still fairly small, we have about a 270 million market cap. We have 70 million in cash and securities. We have no debt, we're generating positive cash, and we have a meaningful royalty on the largest gold mine in Canada, on the eastern side, which is called Canadian Malartic, and it's one of the, call it, 10 to 15 largest gold mines in the world, and the mine's future is moving towards where the main royalty is, is located. So, in a rising gold price environment, the royalty companies are generally seen as a lower risk option for exposure to a rising gold price. Oh, very interesting. So three things you'd like the investors to remember about EBITDA royalties. Well, I, I just, as I sort of mentioning, I think it's really important when you look at uh, an investment, especially within the public space, what is management doing versus what are they saying? Um, and you'll see that, you know, as I mentioned, we, we try to do everything we can to respect the shareholders by not issuing shares, which I know sometimes isn't good for the TSX venture because the more shares, sometimes it's more trade and liquidity. But, uh, but you know, like I said, we try to do everything we can to view our shareholders as partners in, in the business. And whether the gold price is up, down, we try to run it like a business, not based, we don't make our decisions based on what the gold price is doing on any any given day. But for me, the reason why I keep investing in the company is really looking at the expiration potential at Canadian Malartic. You look at how much gold they've been finding there, and the fact that you have two strong operators, both Ignica Legal Mines and Yamana Gold, who are both listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange. And I think it's a very good value proposition and we've been taking the funds that we've been generating and buying other royalties so growing through our cash flow and uh, I think it's a very unique story especially among the other TSX venture mining uh, mining issuers I, I, I think we, we set ourselves up well and I really like where the, the future of the company is going that's very good. So that's a good segue into my last question. What does the TSX Venture mean, uh, listing mean to you? Well, the TSX and the TSX, uh, TSX Group uh, and the Venture Exchange has always had a very high degree of credibility. And I think for a small company like us who's looking to access the public markets, it's very important to have a partner like the TSX Venture where you have the credibility factor but the exchange also, by dealing with smaller companies, understands the financial and the administrative burden of being a public company. And so 
being on the venture allows you to weigh those uh, access to public, but not in a way that it's burdening the company to an extent that it doesn't make it feasible. Uh, and I would contrast that with being a public company in the United States, where it's almost impossible to be a small public, publicly traded company uh, in, in the US because of the costs associated with it. So the venture does, I think, an excellent job. Thank you so much. That's a great comparison between the US and Canada. We do have something quite unique here. Well, Ian, I wish you all the best. Let's make, make sure that the price of gold stays up and goes up. Um, and it was a pleasure having you with us this morning. Well, thank you for having us on today.